हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक गुरु प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आउटपुट एंड स्टैंडर्ड एरर इन आर एच एल एट सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर टूडे सेशन when we run a command from the shell prompt normally it reads the input from my keyboard and sends the output to my screen means terminal window all the processes in linux have three data streams first is known as input stream second is standard output stream and third is standard error stream a process uses numbered channels called the file descriptors to get input and send output There are three file descriptor. First is standard input. It's connect to the keyboard, and its symbol is less than, and its channel name is std in, and its number is zero. Second is standard output. It's connect to terminal and send their output, and the symbol is greater than symbol, or we can use number one, and the channel name is std out, and third is standard error. it's also connect with the terminal and send error message and the symbol is used to greater than and the channel name is std err and the number is 2 as you see in the table standard input for std in its numeric value is 0 and its symbolic is less than symbol for standard output is std out its numeric value is 1 and symbolic is greater than symbol standard error is std err numerical value is 2 and its symbol is 2 greater than symbol input redirection input redirection is a command line interface utility in linux which is used to reallocating your input output and error that means you can save the input output and error in any different location as you want input output redirection changes how the process gets input or output means you can give the input from the keyboard or you can give the input from the file or you will get the output on your screen or you can save output in a file the basic of use of redirection is to redirect the input and the output anywhere as per desired location now let's learn with the example first is input redirection we use cat command to read the file one it will show the content or you can give the input redirection symbol and it will gives the same result that means by default linux will use input redirection by default in this example we use the translating command and we replace i with a in file one in this we give the input to tr command with the file one right will gives you the result as i is replaced by a next is output redirection in output redirection we use greater than symbol then file name that means the output is not see on the screen it will save in a file for example we use the echo command and write the content in a file and redirect to a file 2.txt here we use greater than symbol or you can use one greater than symbol but the result remain the same cat command is used to read the content of the file but you can also create the file using the cat command in this example we type cat then greater than symbol then the file name when you press the enter key we write the content in the file when you press control d it will save the file then we read the file it will show the content if we want to append the same file we use two greater than symbol then the same file name in this example we write the content in the file and we use two greater than it means append symbol it will save in the same file as the same we use the cat command to greater than symbol it will save 
in the same file if we want to save the error in a different file then we use two greater than symbol it will redirect the error to a file for example we type the ll command and gives the error path that means if the error is existing it will save in this location if the command is available it will show the display in the terminal then we read the error file it will show nothing that means there is no error is saved in the file but if we execute a wrong command in the system it will show command not found if we want to append the error file we use two greater than symbol it will append the error.txt file if we want to save the standard output and standard error in the same file then we use this format in this example we type ll then and symbol greater than then file name if this command is executed properly it will save the result in abc file if this command is not executing it will save the error in the same file now when we read the file it will show the result that means command is executing and if we run that wrong command then give the same path it will saved in the same file and if we append the same file we use two greater than symbol see here the result will be saved if we don't want to save the error then we use slash dev slash null when we execute this command it will give send the result but if we run the wrong command it will not save the error let's do its practical that's my rhl8 machine first you type the command ll it will show one file is available now first we read the file using the cat command cat space file name enter it will show the content but if we use into redirection symbol it will give the same result cat space less than then file name enter it will show the same result means read the file that means by default in linux when we are not giving any input symbol it's used by default now we use output redirection symbol first you type echo this is my first line and give the redirection symbol and save in file to dot txt enter now we read the file now if we want to append the file we using two time greater than symbol so we type the command echo second line now we give two time greater than symbol then same file name enter now read the file using cat command we can also create a file using the cat command cat redirect symbol then the file name is fruit enter now you type the name as apple mango grapes press control d now we read the file using the cat command cat space file name it will show the file is saved if we want to append the file using the cat command we type cat two time redirect symbol then the file name is same enter now we type grapes banana dragon press again control d now we read the same file it will show the file is append now if we want to create a file so that the result and the error is saved in the same file so we type the command ll space and symbol greater than space file name is error or you can give any name enter now we read the file using the cat command it will show the result because my command is executing 
but if you type a wrong command suppose we type l space and symbol is greater than then the same file name now we read the file it will overwrite the file that means this command is not existing and the error will saved in the same file but if you want to append this file we again type the same command ll greater than symbol error.txt enter now read this file cat space error.txt the content will be saved now we type the same command l i space and symbol append symbol is two time greater than symbol space same file name enter now we read the same file cat space error.txt it will save the execute result means the previous result as well as the error result in the same file now if we don't want to save any error result then we type the command to greater than slash dev slash null enter it will show the result because the command is executing and it will show no error now if you type the wrong command enter sorry enter it will show nothing that means the error is not saved and see on the terminal so next is the sort command we type the command cat space file name is fruit enter now we want to sort in ascending order means a b c so we type that command sort space file name enter see a b c d e f it's set in the ascending order if you want to sort in descending order we type the command sort space minus r for reverse order same file name enter it will show you in the reverse order here you can see cat space fruits name it will show the name then we sort in the ascending order then we sort in the descending order next is pipeline a pipe is a command which is used to run one or more than one command when we use pipe symbol the output of first command become the input of the second command a pipe connects the standard output of the first command to the standard input of next command pipe send standard output to get standard input from another process pipeline allow the output of a process to be manipulated and formatted by the other process before it is output to the terminal let's see its example in this example we read slash etc slash passwd file we use head command head command by default it will read the 10 top lines but we give minus 5 that means it will only read above top 5 lines now we give the pipe symbol to the tail that means the output of this command become the input of second command that means we use tail that means it will read last two lines it will show the result of last two line that are read by this command let's do its practical that's my rhl8 machine now first we read the file using the cat space minus n space slash etc slash passwd file see there are 47 lines so we type the command cat minus n space slash etc slash passwd then give the pipe symbol head it will read only above 10 lines now suppose we want to only read only last two lines so again we give the pipe symbol and type the command tail minus 2 then enter it will show only last two lines that means the output of the first command become the input of the second command and also here the output of this command become the input of this command and the output of this command become the input of this command.
Next is T command. The T command mainly reads from the standard input and writes to the standard output and files. For example, if we execute any command, then we type T, then file name. It will gives you the output on the screen as well as it save in the file. For example, we type the command lsblk, then pipe symbol. Remember one thing. T is always right after the command. Then we give file name. See the result on the terminal and also save in a file. If we want to append the data.txt file, we use the command T A A means append. In this example, we use date command. Then we save the date result in data.txt file. Then we separate with the colon then we execute the different command when we read it will show the result of both date command as well as cal command is saved in the same file let's do its practical that's my rh relate machine first we type the command ll it will show the result now i want to save the result as well as in a file so we type the command ll space pipe symbol then type the command t then file name is free dot txt enter now we read the content of the file cat space free we get the same result now you want to append the file we use date pipe symbol t data dot txt space cal space pipe symbol t space minus a then give the same file name data.txt enter now you want to read the file cat space data.txt it will show the same result as we display here it will save in the file and if we want to save the result of the command in a file as well as on the terminal we use t command friends that it for today's session if you like my session, please click on the like, share and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.